I just hooked into a megalodon. Alright guys, so we're at this pond. It's 41 degrees right now. We just had a cold front last night. Uh, water's pretty dirty in this uh, little pond. So we're starting with this uh, red, striking red eye shad. And we're gonna go ahead and rip that. See if we can't do any good in the shallower grass. Nope, I'll go first cast. Oh my god. I just hooked into a megalodon. It's a giant blue cat. Now I'm trying my hardest not to let him get hung up. Get up here, big boy. Come on. I'm just thumbing the spool because I'm uh, kind of scared he's going to break the line. Stay. Damn it. Stay. Oh, you're mine. Oh, he's biting the hell out of me. <sighs> We're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this guy where we can let him go. 13.47 pounds. Ah, oh, see you later. Swim off. She doesn't even know she's free. Let's give her a little love tap and let her know she's free. You're free, big girl. Alright, guys. That catfish tore me up. That thing was biting the hell out of me. But, wow. What a good freaking way to start out this trip. So let me show y'all what that catfish ate. Let me clean it up first. That catfish brought me through some thick stuff. I had a 17 pound fluorocarbon, so I was okay. But 
still was getting a little nervous there towards the end just when I saw how big she was and I wanted to land her and I played her a lot more aggressive than I should have but uh, she was heading for some sticks and I didn't want to get her hung up so we're just using this right here ten and a half inch zoom old monster and this is June bug red had a quarter ounce tungsten weight pegged and so we got her on chomp you son of a bitch all right guys learning experience 101 did you just see how my drag just slipped and i missed that fish i was so excited about catching a big catfish that i forgot to recheck everything i did retie my line however i neglected to check my drag and that's why i missed that fish however i'm feeling frisky so i think i'm gonna be able to get him again because he didn't get the hook we'll find out though little guy was super shallow football check that guy out look at this guy right here you can't tell me he is not healthy nice fish he ate that texas rig all right let's go ahead and release this dude see you later bud quit What's going on guys? I know it kind of came to an abrupt end, but the fishing sucked and I was really cold. Uh, wind was blowing, so I skedaddled out of there. But regardless, uh, we're supposed to have a little bit better conditions tomorrow. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. Wind's supposed to lay down, so we're going to go after some giants, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I got catfished, but the good kind of catfished. Uh, that thing was a monster, and then I ended up with one small bass and then one fat football bass but uh one thing i wanted to ask y'all guys is what's your experience uh bill lewis rattle traps versus strike king red eye shads both strike king red eye shads that i've used before they kind of came in like this on an angle and uh the bill lewis rattle traps stayed in a straight line so if y'all don't mind let me know in the comments uh what your experience is and uh, also let me know if you want to see me do anything different in my videos. I'm always trying to improve. I know my videos suck, but I'm still trying to make it. <laughs> but uh, regardless, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, and I'll catch y'all on another episode of Kyle in the Wild. Later.